Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make the Kante build on Pro Clubs. I think it's broken, but you guys can have a look and judge that for yourself. But anyways guys, before I continue the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, help me reach the goal of 2k subscribers. Also, give this video a fat thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And let's try hit more than 40 likes on this video, that will be beautiful. Also, for some of you guys that want to join my little community or little discord server, I'll put the link below. I do a lot of GTA sessions, I do FIFA tournaments, I do a lot of fun stuff. You know, I might do more Call of Duty, you know, custom games like Mike Myers, you know, stuff that really is fun so if you guys want to take part make sure to join the discord but anyways let's get straight to the video and we're going to start with the height and weight to begin with so for the height of the build it is 5 foot 6 and for the weight it is 227 pounds also for the position put him as a left back or right back because that's the build we're going to use for the cdm position now let's move to the player growth now for the pro builds player growth it has 83 physical, 90 defending, 81 dribbling, 83 passing, 74 shooting and 87 pace. Now for Kante's build, I'm going to include the chemistry style shadow. And the reason is because it makes more sense to base his attributes when he has a shadow because no one really uses him without shadow. It makes no sense because he's too slow and his defending isn't as good. So it's better to compare a Kante with shadow and my build on pro clubs. So basically, Kante's build has 82 physical, 94 defending, 81 dribbling, 76 passing, 66 shooting and 87 pace. I'm looking at the two builds and they're very, very similar. But you guys need to see the attributes of my Kante build. So let's get straight to the blueprint of the build. We're gonna start with the physical section. For the pro build, it has 81 aggression, 90 reactions, 81 strength, 91 stamina and 79 jumping. For Kante's actual build, he's got 90 aggression, 91 reactions, 72 strength, 96 stamina and 77 jumping. For the physical section, I think the pro build wins because he's got way more strength and he's got better jumping. I just feel like Kante only wins in aggression and stamina. Now let's move to the defending. Now for the pro build, it has 95 interceptions, 86 defensive awareness, 91 stand tackle and 93 slide tackle. Now for Kante, he's got 99 slide tackle, 99 stand tackle, 94 defensive awareness and 99 inception. You guys do have to remember, I did add a shadow on Kante, so that's why he's got a lot of 99. So obviously Kante wins in defending. But as you guys can see, I got a lot of, you know, percentages on each of these attributes. So it means that it's still going up. I can still, you know, get it higher than what it is right now. So it doesn't really matter if it's low. Just keep playing more and more games and eventually you will hit the max attributes on defending. Now let's move to the dribbling section. For my pro build, it's got 84 agility, 92 balance, 79 attack positioning, 82 ball control and 80 dribbling. For Kante's build, he's got 82 agility, 92 balance, 72 attack positioning, 80 ball control and 79 dribbling. Now obviously the pro build wins by a fat margin in terms of dribbling. Also I like how Kante's build's got 92 balance and my build's got 92 balance as well. So I felt like I did a success in dribbling, defending and physical so far. Now let's move to the passing section. Now for the pro build passing, it's got 85 curve, 87 short pass, 83 long pass, 89 crossing and 73 vision. Now for Kante's build, it's got 49 curve, 79 long passing, 85 short passing, 68 crossing and 79 vision. Not gonna lie, the pro build wins in terms of passing as well. So let's move to the shooting section. Also, I forgot to mention, for the skill moves, it's gonna be free star and for the weak foot, it's free star as well. And I'm basing it on what Kante's got and he's got 3 star 3 star so that's how it is. If you guys don't like 3 star 3 star you can go ahead and change it to whatever you want. If you want 5 star skill moves go for it. It's your build so choose whatever you want. For the shooting section I didn't really touch anything at all. And that's because Kante's got 66 shooting so there's legit no need to touch anything. But you guys can buff up his shooting. It's up to you but I'm gonna leave it as it is. So let's move to pace. 
Now for Kante's pace, with a shadow, he's got 89 acceleration and 86 sprint speed. For the pro build, he's got 84 acceleration and 90 sprint speed. I think the pace was a success because both builds make up 87 pace, so that's perfect. Anyways, that's it for the Kante build video. If you guys did enjoy it, you already know what to do. Give this video a fat thumbs up. Let's try to get more than 50 likes on this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already or if you're new here let's try to get 2k subscribers that's the milestone we're trying to hit right now so help me reach that goal also links to my socials and my discord server is down below but anyways guys i'll catch you guys another time